Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Source classes. And today we are looking at the ISI MSQV 2023 question paper, question number 4. Consider a market demand function P equals to 100 minus Q, where P is the market price and Q is the aggregate demand. There are 10 forms, each with the cost function CI is equals to QI. The forms compete in quantities. So the total deadweight loss is how much? So there are 10 forms and forms compete in quantities. So this gives you an idea that we are basically talking about the Kuno setup. So first of all, let us find out what is the uh, Kuno output, individual firm output and the market output. So over here, my demand function is P is equals to 100 minus Q, where the Q is basically aggregation of the output from the 10 firms, Q1, Q2 up till Q10. The cost of the ith firm CI of QI is simply QI for all I. Okay, so since there is an identical cost function structure, so at optimal we know all firms will produce the equal amount of output equals to Q. Okay, let's say we denote it by Q star. So if we take a ith firm's profit function, that will be 100 minus Q into QI minus cost, which is CI. So if we elaborate it out, Q is basically, if I just keep QI minus summation I not equals to J Q J times QI minus QI. So now the firm will choose the level of output that maximizes profit. So del by i by del q i is equals to zero. So 100 minus q i minus summation i not equals to j q j. Minus q i minus one is equals to c. So at optimal, all the firms will produce same output. So this can be replaced by n minus 1 qi minus qi is equals to 1. So this will be basically 100 minus n minus 1 plus 2 qi is equals to 1. So 100 minus n plus 1 qi is equals to 1. So what is qi? It is 99 divided by n plus 1. So n is 10. So divide by 11. So it is 9. So each firm will produce 9 units of output. What was the aggregate output? It is q star is equals to 10 into 9, which is 90. So what is the price, aggregate price charge in the market? It is basically 100 minus Q star, which is 100 minus 90, which is equals to 10. Now, in the question, we are asked about the total deadweight loss. Now, the deadweight loss is basically a measure of loss of efficiency, right? And that basically occurs when your output is lesser as compared to the competitive output. Correct? How less is your efficiency as compared to the competitive efficiency? So now, in order to find out the deadweight loss in this case, what we need to do, that how would the output of each firm and the corresponding market output look like if the firms behave in a competitive manner. So now we need to investigate what will happen if the firms behave in a competitive manner. So if the firms behave in a competitive manner, set up then what will happen what do you mean by comparative setup it's basically forms act as price takers right and if you all recall for a comparative firm At optimal, we have price is equals to 
marginal cost. In this case, what are we given? The cost function is CI of QI is equals to small QI. So the marginal cost is basically one. That means at optimal P will be equals to one. Okay. So if P is equals to one, what would be the competitive market output? We'll take it from the demand function. So Q would be 100 minus P. So that would be 99. Okay. So if you compare the figures, what did we get? In the Kuno setup, the aggregate output would be 90. The price would be 10. And over here, it's 1 and 99. So what would be the deadweight loss? It is half into change in price, which is 10 minus 1 into change in quantity. So that is half into 9 into 9, which is 9 square by 2. If you look at the options, that is basically option number B in this case. Okay. So that's your answer for question number four. Thank you.